So this is awesome. Lacken and Longridge 2018 report seven juvenile spinosaurid specimens from where else? The Chem Chem Beds of Morocco. The authors bought the specimens for study and will be kept in a university in Casablanca. They report three cervical vertebrae with the specimen numbers 7280, 18119, and 18122. Specimens 18118 and 18121 are dorsal vertebrae, while 7281 is a right premaxilla. The final specimen, a right quadrate, is numbered 18120. They all have the prefix F-S-A-C-K-K, just like Ibrahim's 2014 neotype. They were identified as juvenile due to the fact that they were, well, tiny. Each specimen also featured high bone vascularity and vertebral striations, indicating bone growth. Those same characteristics have been previously noted in other dinosaurs, including modern birds. The smallest specimen, 18121, was between 3 and 3.3 meters, lacking in long range to avoid controversy, scaled to the modern reconstruction as well as the old bipedal version. The largest of the juveniles, 7281, was in between 5.2 and 7.6 meters. So what kind of spinosaurids were these guys? Well, 18122 was assigned to Sigilmosasaurus, while 7280 was referred to Spinosaurus. The other five... hard to tell. Right now they're lumped into indeterminate Spinosauridae. The authors excitingly imply that this distribution of juveniles could represent a niche overlap between juvenile and adult Spinosaurids. No hatchling Spinosaurids are preserved, despite the fact that other small vertebrates with similar preservation potential are known from these same deposits. This suggests that the earliest ontogenetic stages had a distinct habitat and ecology. Of course, this paper was written and reviewed before the release of the baby Spinosaurus in late May of 2018. It also conducted its research months before Arden et al. 2018 turned the genus of Spinosaurus upside down, which is why they still have MSN MV4047 questionably referred to Spinosaurus instead of Sigilmosasaurus. Although, even in this study, they're not quite sure about that. Overall, I thought this study was definitely worth a read, and I'm really excited to see what we learn about spinosaur ecology and behavior in the future. Thanks for watching! Be certain to subscribe and join the Ultimate Battles Discord server for more paleontology content. Vividan out.